planning. The big news of the day, however, is the change at the helm of TCS. Rajesh Gopinathan resigns <coughs> as the MD and CEO. And K. Kritivasan is all set to take over the reins at the IT giant. Reema is standing by at the big wall with all the details. Reema. Thank you very much for that. In a sudden and shocking leadership change in India's largest IT services company, TCS, Rajesh Gopinathan has tendered his resignation after a successful six-year stint as the managing director and CEO of the company. Mr. K. Kritivasan has been appointed as the chief executive officer designate with effect from 16th of March 2023. Now, the street has been taken aback completely by surprise by this development as just last year in March of 2022, Rajesh was reappointed as the MD and CEO for a period of five years, which ends only in February of 2027, which means he stepped down four years before his term comes to an end. TCS has stuck to its policy of promoting an internal talent with Kriti Kritivasan, a veteran at TCS, to the top position. Now, he has experience across multiple functions and he has been leading the company's largest vertical, BFSI, which contributes over a third of TCS's revenues by heading it for more than a decade. And Rajesh will ensure that it's a smooth transition by staying on until September 15, 2023, which means six months. Now, what will be the ask from the new CEO? Now, today at the presser conducted by TCS, we asked uh, Kriti Vasan all this, and he said TCS has been built on two pillars, customer centricity and employees, and he wants to double down on making customer relationships stronger. When asked whether there will be any big strategic shifts, changes under him, Kriti replied that priorities and strategies do not change with CEO changes. So I guess we should expect more of the same. So what are brokerages made of this development? So let me start with Bernstein. They're saying the leadership change was unexpected during a challenging macro environment. CLSA says, given the age of TCS's senior leadership, Kriti Vasan is 58 years old, while NG, uh, NGS, or N. Ganapati Subramaniam, the COO of the company, is 63 years old. So CLSA believes that succession planning could become a point of focus, especially for long-term investors. Morgan Stanley says it may create a short-term overhang. However, they expect the transition to be smooth and well-managed as seen in the stock. And they don't think the stock is likely to underperform in the coming months. Back to you. Okay, all right, Reema, thanks very much for that. But let's listen in to what the management had to say in a press conference held earlier this morning. We have brought the volatility of the uh, pandemic to a fair state. Uh, we have registered um, very strong growth, first bouncing off the pandemic lows with 15%. And then over the last uh, nine months also, we have still grown at 14.8%. Uh, and uh, crossed big milestones. What next? is first uh, to make sure that the transition happens smoothly. And uh, with Kriti being there, I don't think that is a challenge at all. If you look at the volatility or the um, demand outlook, uh, I don't think we are in, uh, you know, in a majorly concerning uh, situation. Yeah, there is, uh, you know, uh, there is inflationary pressure, there is uh, talk of recession. So maybe the recession will materialize, maybe it will be more severe than what we thought it was. But that's all part and parcel of the business cycle and part of the business environment that we operate in. TCS has been built on two important uh, foundational pillars of uh, customer centricity, as well as a huge set of employees who are always committed and who are given their best to TCS. I'm hoping to lead this company and double down on our core pillars of uh, customer centricity, meeting more employees and meeting more customers and making the relationship stronger. All right, uh, with that, we will step into a short break, but uh, don't go anywhere. On the other side, we will get chatting with Lalit Agarwal, who's the founder and MD at Vmart Retail, to discuss their demand trends. Stay tuned.